I got my FabFit Fun Box. Yay! It came today. Very excited. So that's what we're going. I'm just taking the paper stuff out. First, we have got the magazine. Um, it has just some great, oh, bra showing. Sorry about that. Um, it just talks about stuff um, that's going on in the world. It talks about all the things that you could possibly get in here. Um, next, we've got um, HelloFresh. A little $80 off coupon. I have thought about using them maybe for, I don't know, a month. Try it out. See how I like it. I kind of like some of their recipes. I wish they would just sell the recipe card because I kind of like that, but we'll see. Okay. Wow. Okay. So we've got a lot of stuff. Now I picked out, I think three of the items I was allowed to choose. And the only one that I can remember is the purse part. So let's see what we got. Okay. Petty in a box, deluxe four step pumpkin spice. Includes two complete four step pedicure kits. A sea salt soak, a sugar scrub, mud mask, and massage butter. Can you see that? Let's see what it looks like. I mean, I'm... Oh, okay. Okay, so it's like four little things, and I am not a huge pumpkin fan, so we'll see how I feel about this when I try it, but you get two. It's four steps. They're all numbered. Do you guys see that? And the packaging is really cute. I don't know. Can you guys see that? So there's two in here. And um, I'll try it out. I do like to keep my feet. <coughs> oh, excuse me. It's a little dusty today. The sky is no longer blue anymore. The clouds have moved in and the smoke has come back. And I sneeze a lot more. So, yay, we've got one of these. Now, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to look it up in here really quick. Let's see. Okay, so that's number 6A. It is worth $20. It's made with pumpkin extract, the, few, the fruit enzymes naturally exfoliate dead skin cells, and vitamin A, C, and E help reveal radiant skin. So that is what that is. That's pretty cool. Next, we have these cute little hair accessories by Eight Other Reasons. Can you see those? little hair clippies that'll be great for when my hair is longer let's see if I can find them ah this is these are worth um, $32 it's a pin your hair to perfection with this trio of resin plated pins there is like a pink kind of a grayish with some coral in it and then a white and they're really pretty oh those look like they've got a let's see Hmm. Well, those would work with my hair right now, wouldn't it? If I could get it, get my hair to cooperate. Kids doing things. Do you hear it? She got a bee. Hmm. Well, that'd be kind of nice when my hair gets a little longer, but it works for the short hair. Yay. Those are really cute. Okay, so we've got these really cute little claw alligator clip things are really cute nice okay next we've got a room spray it's a santal noir room spray you see that? let's see if i can See it. Oh, room spray. Okay. And this is 001. So it's 7C. 
Stone Candles Room Spray in Santal Noir. Spread your room with this musky blend of sandalwood and cardamom. Let's see what that smells like. And it retails for $36, it looks like. I'm actually going to undo this so I can smell. Oh, okay. Mmm, mmm, mmm. I don't like that. I don't care how much it works. You're not worth it to me for that smell. Ugh. I don't like that. Okay. Next, <coughs> we've got the Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel. I don't do anything with my brows to begin with. Let's see what this retails for. Um, oh, here it is. It retails for $22. Set the shape and color of your brows with this lightweight gel. Now it's clear, which is great, you know, if you don't want anything. My brows have grown in pretty nice. Um, it's pretty packaging, like it's all shiny and, you know. And it has... Just your basic, like, mascara wand, basic, pretty basic. And it is, it has a weird smell to it. What does that smell? You know, it kind of smells like nail polish. Oh, I don't like that either. Okay. So out of the four items, I'm not a huge fan of two of them. And the pumpkin one is, uh, it's fall themed, which is what this box is. It's the fall box. Ooh, next we have a little pouch. I'm assuming that this is probably jewelry. Oh, it's heavy. I like the pouch it's by Jenny Bird. Okay, let's see what we got. Um, it is Jenny Bird um, Austin Cuff, a mix of classic and modern changes. This cuff is for the lady who loves a good stack, and it's worth $135. I wonder what makes it $135. But it's like a bracelet. So let's see how that... So that is how that is supposed to look. Do you guys see that? It's really pretty. Oop, did I throw it? It's pretty. I don't know that it's $135 pretty. But it's cute. I mean, I don't know what kind of metals they're using. It's made in Vietnam. Um, it just says a, a mix of classic and modern chains. It doesn't tell, I mean, I could see like if it was sterling and gold, but it doesn't tell me what it is. It's pretty though. It is pretty. It comes in this cute little pouch. Okay. Let's see, what else do we have in here? Oh, we've got a card. Pass this on to a friend who would love FabFitFun. Um, gather the good I'm gifting you. 15% off your first box. So I'll put the code down below if you guys want to use that code. It's right there. Um, I'll put it down below too. Um... And then there's a $45 credit on your first box of personalized wine matches. Um, I'm not going to be using that code, but if you guys want wine, I can't drink wine. So there's that. Next, we've got Voliton Celery green cream, hyaluronic acid, and peptides. 
Let's see. Okay. Um, it is worth $55. This oil-free moisturizer targets the appearance of fine line wrinkles and uneven skin tone. I'm getting old. I need all of those things. I'm going to be 41 this year. Oh, it's got the little... That's what it looks like on the inside. Do you guys see that? Oh, it's nice. I'm just going to take a little off of the safety seal and kind of like that. Well, that feels nice and cooling on the skin. Oh, and a little bit goes a long way because I just grabbed a little bit and I probably could have done less. Oh, that feels nice. Oh, that feels really nice. And it is not greasy. Oh, I really like that. So that retails for $55. And it is 1.7 fluid ounces or 50 mils. So that is really pretty packaging too. And it's like a really pretty soft green. I'm very happy with that one. Yay. Let's see, what else do we have? <coughs> I gotta tell you, this glow milk which is i love the packaging of this um it is super cute um but i have gotten like samples of this in birch box i got it when i had ipsy um it just kind of seems to be in everything and i don't necessarily use it so let's see how much this is okay so this retails for $19.50 it's enriched with coconut this highlighter gives you a lit from within glow now it doesn't say shake bottle before use okay nourished with coconut and argon oil okay I hate it. I'm gonna have to. I like the packaging. I mean, it's the packaging is really, really pretty, and it's really, really. There it goes. It's got like a little dropper. It's. I mean, it's cool. It's just, it's not something that I use. So, and it's this weird color. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and... It kind of gives like a little shimmer. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it kind of colors the skin too, and I don't know that I'd be very happy with that. I mean, I don't know. Okay, I'm not as thrilled. I'm kind of a little bummed, but the, I mean, that's not bad. I, I mean, if you like this, you know, if, uh, I'm not a big makeup girl. You guys already know that. I slap a lip on and that's about it. Okay, next. Now this is my all-time favorite. Okay, this, this is a bag. Let's see. It is the Baltic Botkier New York Bond Tote. Use a spacious carry-all to hold your laptop, makeup bag, and more without weighing you down. It is worth $128. Okay. And that is like the last thing that's in there. <coughs> oh, excuse me. But is this like, you know, they must, you must just be paying for the name because so far I am not impressed with this. It looked better in the pictures online, quite frankly. It's got a couple of like little pockets. It has a zipper, which isn't super big. I should have gone for the little tote bag or the little like macrame bag 
it was, you know, something to like put a plant in or put some towels in. I'm not too happy with this. I was like, ooh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get a fancy bag. I'm sorry, this isn't any better than a bag that you would get this size from Walmart. I actually got a faux leather bag from Walmart that is better than this one. <sighs> That's disappointing. I'm kind of disappointed. I mean, if you go over what they say these are worth, and quite frankly, I, this isn't any better than a cheap bag that you get at Walmart. It's like, it's just not any better. It's lightweight, it's not that heavy. It has these little zipper parts. Oh, okay, so that's just decoration, it's not even a pocket. Well, that's irritating. Well, I was looking forward to this one. I thought it was gonna be so cool. It's not. I'm a little disappointed in this box. I don't think it's worth the, you know, I don't think it's worth what I paid for the subscription. And I think I paid $49.99. <sighs> the only thing that is worth it to me is this. So I guess this, you know, it's worth um, the two, it's $55. So this little cream paid for the box because the rest of it I'm not like super happy with. Um, I, I'm not a pumpkin spice person. And I know this is a fall box, but um, couldn't we do like apple spice or something? Something that's, you know, more people like apple spice than they do pumpkin. Um, so I'm not particularly thrilled with this, but I'm gonna try it and see, cause I like to try new things for my feet. So I'll try this. So I'm not terribly upset with it. I'm not happy with this scent but whatever um my brows are so light you can't even tell i mean my husband and my family didn't even know that i had shaved them and now they're all grown back and you really can't even see them so this isn't going to be any help to me and ugh, no i'm going to be giving this to somebody else um it's not something i use um this smells disgusting, this room spray. Go away. My kid is over there just pacing back and forth, hearing me roast this box. These are okay. Um, do I think they're worth what they say it is? Like, what did they say they were worth? Because it says they're worth $32. I don't know who they're talking about. I mean what these are like ten dollars and some change a piece no they're not worth that i mean these are alligator clips i have a whole bunch of alligator clips um i could make this for quite considerably less because i have all the materials for it um but if I were to see, I mean, this isn't any better than hair clips that I would get at Walmart or Fred Meyer. Um, I mean, they're nice. Do I think they're worth what they say they are? No. Um, the bracelet, do I think it's worth over $100? Because I think they said it was, what did they say it was worth? Mm. So it's worth $135. Do so I think it's worth $135? No. I mean, it'll fit my wrist. It's just, um, it's not really necessarily my style. Um, I don't know. I mean, I could see if it was worth it if these were all precious metal, but since they're not listing what it is, I am just assuming that it's a basic craft metal. And they don't even have the jump rings at the end closed all the way. Um, 
and that irritates me because I make jewelry and so that's a little irritating. So I'm gonna have to go in and fix that. Um, I like the little pouch, but you can buy these pouches on Amazon in bulk for like five bucks, five to ten dollars. And this bag, they say that this bag is $128. Do I think it's worth $128? No, I think you can get this bag for 20 bucks at Walmart. I'm sorry, I just, I don't see the value here. It's, it says you can put a laptop in here, but I wouldn't put a laptop in here. It is not padded enough for a laptop. I mean, it is just, they can open a, I mean, I guess you could use it for like, if you're gonna go somewhere overnight and you just need like a change of clothes, cause that's about all you can fit in here, is a change of clothes and maybe a little makeup bag and that's about it it's I don't I'm I'm just not happy I thought I would be happier um I'm not because I think they like exaggerated I think instead of this bag I should have picked this one I think I would have been a lot happier with this like little um this is a foldable cotton basket. I think I would, it's made from a cotton yarn rope and it's worth 60 and I think I would have been happy with that. But, you know, it is what it is. And they sent me, I mean, there's like so much other stuff that could have been sent, but you know, I was kind of hoping they would send me one of these. I've been wanting one of those, but whatever. It's like a little water bottle. Ugh, whatever. So I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight items. Am I thrilled? No, because I'm not going to use this. I, I'm not going to use the milk. I'm not going to be using the brow. Um, the only thing I'm going to be using is this, and I'm going to try this. So if I don't like the smell of it, somebody else is going to get the other half because uh -uh. I got a bracelet that I'm not going to wear because it's really not my style. And it, uh, I just, I'm like really disappointed. I think all that you're paying for is, and these my daughter will like, do I think they're worth what they want for them? No. Um, and this bag, I don't know, I'm not happy with it. I think it's a waste. Um, but then again, I, I don't know. I'm, so I'm not happy with it. Do I think I got my money's worth that I paid? If this cream is as good as it is, then yes. It smelled really nice and my skin feels soft where I put it. Um, so yes, I got my money's worth, but I could have just gone and picked something up similar to this um, and paid less money and been way more happier. But I'm gonna try this and see how it goes. Um, the rest of this I have to find homes for. I'm not gonna use this, it stinks. This room spray stinks. It's, ugh. I'll gift this to somebody. I'll gift this to somebody. I haven't even, oh, I, op I opened it, but just to show you the thing, I didn't touch the wand, but because I opened it, I kinda don't wanna give it to somebody that I don't know. So I'll probably give that to, I'll give that to somebody. And my daughter will have these. So, geez, um, just not happy. Boy, disappointing. I really loved my last box. I thought for sure that this one was going to be, I mean, I've been waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting, and I've seen what everybody else has gotten. So instead of getting this subscription. You need to go away. That kid, let me tell you, such mouth, always, mm -hmm. So, I mean, I am hoping that winter is better. Winter will determine if I keep 
doing the subscription box or not because winter is going to be the fourth and final um, season. I started it um, in March. So I, I did spring, summer. This is my third box, fall. And so winter will be my last box. <coughs> so we'll see how it goes. I know that not all the boxes are going to be amazing and I know a lot of people had a lot of issue with what was in the last box. I particularly liked the last box. I've liked all the boxes that I've gotten. Um, have I used everything that I've gotten in them? Not necessarily and in this one I'm only going to be using two of the products. So the rest I'm going to be giving away. Maybe my sister will like the bag. I don't know. It's not really my style. Maybe that's the problem is it's not my style. It's, I mean, if you're going to be paying, well, I didn't pay a hundred dollars or more. It's over a hundred dollars for this bag. Um, but if I was paying that much, I would expect for the outside to be leather, not this raincoat, all weather jacket material. Do you hear that? That's what I mean. So, anyways, that's my FabFitFun box. I hope you guys enjoyed listening to me rant about how unhappy I am. Um, if not, I am hoping that winter box is going to be a whole lot better. Um, and I will let you know how I do with this. I got, um, I shared in my last box, like, one of my favorite things, which I have replaced um, a couple of times and it's a hair leave-in hair conditioner and it works really well for all different hair types and we're pretty happy with it so um, I will talk at you guys later and I hope you're having a great day bye